Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel once again and another edition of Star Citizen Universe News. Now today, before I round up some of the important uh, news of the week, I'm going to look once again at damage dates and this time it's the turn of the Origin 315P. And uh, as you're going to see, well, I didn't really get much cooperation from the Vandal. So I had to uh, try something new and uh, I think you're going to find it pretty interesting. Now before we go on to uh, look at the damage dates, I must say something about the channel. Uh, this time of year I am incredibly busy at work so output may well be a little bit, uh, well, not quite as prompt as usual. But uh, as always on my channel, it's always going to be quality over quantity. Well after many hours of trying I'm afraid this was the best I did in Vandal Swarm with the 315P. Anyway let's have a look at that again in slow motion. Well, I tried for several hours in Vandal Swarm uh, to get damage dates for the 315P and this was about the best I did. Now, I don't know if it's because the Vandal have become more lethal, but they certainly wasn't cooperating and in fact, uh, they were certainly uh, shooting to kill. Anyway, I came up with another idea to uh, capture some damage dates. Maybe not as exciting, but pretty interesting because I decided to use my second Star Citizen account, which has a humble Aurora on it, to uh, help me out. Anyway, this is how I did, and it's quite interesting. Well, I've set up a private match in Arena Commander and uh, my Aurora from my other account has uh, appeared to uh, join the game. And although I'm having to control both ships um, at once, I'm uh, quite pleased at how it's all turned out. Now, I've recently upgraded my second computer with a GTX 980 and I'm pretty pleased with the results and uh, it's certainly come in handy for this uh, damage states test. Anyway, as you can see, we've got the Aurora's viewpoint in split screen, so it should be pretty interesting. And I'm certainly going to make use of some slow motion to uh, capture the damage states in all their glory. Anyway, we're just about to open up with the humble Aurora and the uh, 315P is in for some severe punishment. So I'm going to target the wings first and uh, hopefully uh, blow them off. Now as you saw earlier uh, I only managed to lose one wing in Vandal Swarm and uh, that was after hours of effort. As you can see uh, the Aurora's really taking it to the 315P and you can see those wonderful uh, damage dates there and the fantastically detailed uh, parts of the 315P breaking away. Now it's really wonderful to see those uh, uh, p pieces of the 315P uh, spin off into space. So we've lost a little bit of the tail there, now let's lose that wing and uh, there it goes and uh, it looks pretty majestic and it looks even better in slow motion
Well, we've lost one wing. Now, let's try and lose the other. So, let's manoeuvre the Aurora around the other side. And, uh, blast away. Now, it won't be long now before that other wing flies off into space. And there it goes. Looks wonderful. Anyway, let's, uh, run that back. And replay that again with some slow motion. And enjoy the majestic damage states. Well, the Origin 315P is now totally wingless and uh, I did attempt to uh, inflict some more damage on the rear of the uh, 315P to try and detach the, uh, the tow and the engine but uh, I've come to the conclusion that uh, I was unable to do that and maybe the damage states isn't there at the moment. Uh, for that to happen but of course they could change in the future and Chris Roberts has actually recently announced that uh, they are looking at uh, a new uh, systems for damage states and uh, also how they will progress to uh, larger ships which uh, should be pretty interesting to see going forward anyway I've got a feeling that the uh, 315P won't take much more punishment and uh, I hope you enjoyed the split screen and uh, I think it's been a useful experiment to do and something I shall certainly do at a later date once again and there we go that's the end of the 315p it certainly took a lot of punishment anyway now it's time for some more Star Citizen Universe news well it's always nice to see those ships get blown apart and hopefully soon uh, with arena commander 1.0 we'll have a few more ships to look at now here's the most important news of the week and that relates to uh, chris roberts letter from the chairman because the 66 million dollar mark has now been reached 
And basically, with that mark, we've passed 64 and 65 million dollars. So, 64 million dollars um, was to do with a modular system uh, for outfitting your ships. Now, basically, you're in future, they'll be working on uh, getting the ships to have a modular fitting system. So, say you want to fit your uh, constellation out to be, say, well, maybe a uh, surveillance ship so you could fit it say with a um a, an electronic warfare module or maybe a, a hospital constellation or maybe a um well i don't know maybe anything module it depends what the modules are for you know because at the moment obviously um if you look at say the constellation aguila you know um it's an exploration ship but uh, it's not really kitted out because obviously things are a work in progress. So that's pretty interesting. Um, also, $65 million has of course unlocked pets in space. So we all will be able to soon look forward to having not just our fish in our fish tanks, but uh, well, whatever pet you desire. Now, $66 million. Now, that's quite interesting because Chris actually goes into detail of their plans for the future regarding multi-cruise ships. Now, obviously, they've just come back from a uh, getting their heads together up in Manchester to discuss the progress of Squadron 42. And uh, while up there, they were discussing um, multi-cruise ships because at the moment, you know, a lot of people have expressed a desire to obviously pilot, say, a constellation or something even bigger like a carrack by themselves. Now, I think Chris has actually um, views this as obviously something which people want to do. But he also says that, uh, of course, it's logical that one person with AI helping him can never be as efficient as having some real life human being friends along with you. Now, in the letter from the chairman, in the supplementary bit uh, regarding multi-crew ships, it goes into detail of their plans. Now, for example, um, they've watched a lot of episodes of Star Trek to help them with their ideas. Because, say you have a human person on board, and you get him to man the engineering station, just like, Mr. Scott and uh, he goes into detail of their plans for having all different types of uh, stations people can man you know with uh, like uh, visual screens where they can monitor all the systems on the ship and also get a view of what's happening on the bridge. Now this is tremendously interesting and it certainly does add some more complexity to the gameplay for Star Citizen. Now for the latest news from Star Citizen always uh, look at the RSI website look at Chris Roberts's 10 for the chairman which is uh, put up every Tuesday I believe now and also a round of verse hosted by Ben Lesnick and Sandy Gardner and there's always a lot of interesting information there. Now finally Everybody can now fly a Hornet for a week. Now the Hornet is an absolute beast to fly and also takes a lot of damage, which I particularly like. So uh, get yourself flying a Hornet and you'll see why it's the master of Arena Commander. Well, thank you very much for watching and as always, please don't forget to like and uh, share as well. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe because uh, although I do the channel uh, purely as a hobby, which I enjoy doing, um, seeing the subscriber count goes up really does give me some encouragement to uh, carry on and do some more. Anyway, wherever you're watching out in that big universe, you take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.